1954, a case was brought to the Supreme Court to make a change to all schools. This case was called the Brown versus the Board of Education. The Brown versus the Board of Education was a case which impacted society greatly due to the fact it enabled many students to go to any public school they wanted to, no matter what race they were. It also put people in a situation to get along and made many people not have the right to judge face to face because it would then be considered a hate crime and would cause many problems. It affected African Americans' economic life by improving it. Today in society, there is very little violent racism and most people get along because of this case. By this case occurring, it showed that people encountered society and made many cultures come together and made the world a less hate race world. After the Civil War ended, slavery was abolished. However, segregation was always around. When the war ended, southern states created the Jim Crow laws, which kept certain races from going to certain places. Cases were built up to try to abolish these equal but separated laws, but always failed. These cases showed that African Americans were second class, while white people were, were first class. The National Association for the Advancement of Colored People formed to help civilize colored people in the United States. As time came, the NAACP got enough evidence to be able to go against the Board of Education. The case provided evidence which proved that segregated schools were unconstitutional, which then made a movement occur due to the case. The Brown vs. the Board of Education case started off bad and scared people to switch schools because no one wanted to be hurt. It also caused a lot of conflict and tension towards races because certain people did not, didn't want to integrate schools and have their kids in the same class with a different race. Cities had to have police officers be prepared for rioting because people were furious and the only way they believed they could express themselves was by fighting. When African Americans started to integrate, that is when people started to show up at the entrance of the high schools and elementary schools and etc. waiting for them to threaten them and start a fight. Mostly white people disagreed with the case because they didn't want their kids to go to a school with other races because they thought they were superior, superior over other races. When African Americans started to go to other schools where only white people were allowed, parents would be right at the door trying to threaten those African Americans to leave or they would be hurt or even killed. When that didn't work, riots would break out causing schools to shut down because it would be too dangerous for people to be at school. But as time passed, people started to accept the fact that schools were getting integrated and nothing was going to happen about that. The Brown versus the Board of Education case significantly helped African Americans economically because it gave them a better chance to graduate graduate from a high school and go, to, uh, go off to college. By doing this, it allowed African Americans to be able to compete in competitions for a job due to the fact they would have a high school diploma and maybe also a college degree. Since the Brown Board of Education happened, poverty also went down for African Americans. The case also helped African Americans to get to a nearby school, making an advantage, making it an advantage for them by helping them not having to walk far distances, or also not having to take a bus because the school would be at a close distance. Furthermore, the case helped limit racism and personal judgment of someone on other people and on how they look. It helped limit racism because the people would grow up thinking a race is bad. And when they were integrated, it put different races in a class and they would talk and find out that the things they grew up being told were false. When others ended up finding out that the statements they were told were false, they started not to judge people off how they look. The case also dropped violent racism in the United States. After the Brown versus the Education case was ruled in favor, people disagreed 
with it and tried to stop it. But as time went on, people accepted it and started to get along. Today, no one is discriminated for their race at school. There's very little violent racism in the U.S. now, and most people don't judge off how you look or what your skin color is and how you were raised. This case, in the end, helped bring cultures together and not start violence when being around each other.